Many parents have heard the teachers say, I think your child needs to be assessed. Learning disabilities are more common than ever, but how to talk to your child about her differences and her strengths. Child psychiatrist Dr. Monique Jericho is here now with some suggestions. Good morning. Good morning. How common are these learning disabilities, first of all? Let's start there. Well, estimates really range, right? Mm -hmm. But they're anywhere between 3 to 5 percent of uh, the young population. So another way to think about that is to imagine that on every one of those yellow school buses, right. there's at least one child who would have a diagnosable learning disability. Okay, so that's a good way to think of it. Yeah. So one on each school bus. So then what are we actually talking about when we talk about a learning disability? What are they? Learning disabilities are sort of a, a broad group of difficulties that people can have in terms of taking in and processing information, right? Okay. So the act of learning is different for each of us. But for these young people, there's something in the wiring of their brain that makes it very challenging for them to take in information. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean then when it comes to addressing this and moving forward with their education? Right, because usually these problems show up in the academic setting mm -hmm. where we see kids starting to struggle in certain areas. So specific areas like reading, writing, and math right. is where you're going to start to see your child slip behind. Okay. And it can be confusing because sometimes sure. you can see that as something that's just related to development. Right? Right. So it's not always easy to catch these problems. Right. Right. And right. that's why it's so important that you do move forward and proceed with testing if you're starting to believe there's a struggle. Right, right, yeah. right. So how important is that testing? It's so important. You want to be able to catch these difficulties as quickly as possible. And the reason for that is because if we know the problem exists, then we can start doing something about it. Right. Right? You have to remember that kids who have learning disabilities are of normal intelligence. They're capable. Right. They just need different kinds of supports. Okay, fair enough. Now, um, from a parent point of view, you know, I can imagine if you're hearing this, it would be quite unsettling as a parent. How do you then process that information yourself mm. and then have the conversation with your child about what's going on with them? Absolutely. Well, what's key is you want to talk about it, right? So don't ignore the problem. Okay. Talk about it. Talk to your pediatrician, talk to the teacher, and talk to your child. Right. The worst thing you can do is leave your child out of the loop so that they're sitting wondering what's wrong with me, what's different about me, and why won't anyone explain this to me. Okay. So just talk to them and explain it all to them straight up. Absolutely. Find ways that your child can understand, right? So for kids at different ages, you're going to have to use different types of language. Oh, okay. But they need to understand that this isn't a problem about them being lazy or not smart enough. This is a problem about how their brain works and that when they get support from people around them, there's going to be ways that they can work around it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Working around it. Yeah. So are there some do's and don'ts that we really need to pay attention to here? Absolutely. So like we've been saying here, don't ignore it. Okay. Don't ignore right? it. Right? Do talk to your child. Right. Do be open and honest. Right? right. The other thing is don't make light of it. Sometimes we use humor in families, oh, right? right? Sure. When we want to make things a little bit easier. But in this case, learning disabilities can have a real impact on a child's self-esteem. You can imagine right. being in a setting where everyone else is understanding things with ease and you're sitting there going, I don't get this, right? Oh, this yeah, is so, so hard. hard for me, right? Yeah. And so as a parent of a child who's struggling like this, you want to be able to provide them with a lot of emotional support. You want them to be able to come to you and you want to teach them those skills to manage some of those feelings that might come up. Okay. Right? All right. Yeah. And make them understand that it's okay. It has nothing to do with how smart they are. Absolutely, absolutely. And that brings us into the last point too, right? Which is, you know, don't pretend that this is the only thing going on with your child, right? Your child has so many other strengths and so many other abilities. So focus on those. Okay. Talk to your kid about what they're good at, what they feel proud of, and really emphasize their strengths. Wonderful. Such great information. Again, thank you so much, <laughs> Dr. Jericho. Focusing on their strengths. I love it.